What's up everybody? Welcome back to Garage Gym Gains. I'm Ricky and this is home to pretty much anything that's home gym related. So we do a lot of gym reactions, so me reacting to gym tours. So if you want your gym on here, uh, send me a link. We also do comparison videos, unboxings, reviews, pretty much anything, like I said, that's home gym related. I also show some of the content of the new commercial gym we're building because there's at least some carry over there. A gym's a gym to some degree, and that's pretty interesting, at least to me. So you'll catch some of that as well. So do hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any content. But today, we're taking a look at a new box that I've got right here. It's from Rogue. Oh. <laughs> as you can see, it is a barbell, but I'll hopefully not ruin the surprise in the thumbnail or the title or the description or anything like that. So put your guess down below, no cheating, because there's no prize, so there's no reason to cheat. Put your guess down below what this bar is. For reference behind me, we have a Titan Safety Squat, Titan Safety Squat Bar, Titan Cambered Bar, uh, ISF Squat Bar, Texas Deadlift Bar, Kabuki Strength Cadillac Bar, Rogue Ohio Power Bar, Bear Steel, Rogue Ohio Power Bar, and Sarah Co. So put your guesses down below. We'll see if you're right. Believe it or not, it's actually been a while since I've unboxed a barbell. So I've got a razor blade and some channel locks here. And we're gonna see if I can get into this and actually make myself look like a gym equipment reviewer and not a complete newbie here. I have a little bit of a limited tool bag right now because a lot of my tools are at the gym. Ooh, the one we're building that is obviously not this gym because then I don't have them. All right, so far we're doing okay. There is still time to put your guess down below. I would also recommend wearing gloves while you do this so that you don't poke yourself with a staple or the metal end cap that's on here. All right, well, that wasn't so bad. Yeah. Do you know what it is yet? I guess you can see that there are chrome sleeves on it. Not that that really narrows it down. Ugh. All right. Whoo. Here it is. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, as you can probably already tell, it is a, or maybe you can't tell. All right, so this is a Rogue Ohio deadlift bar. I've used this a little bit at our gym in Manhattan, uh, and then my friend Andrew has one, but I haven't had a chance to really review it head to head with the Texas deadlift bar. I will point out this is a Boneyard edition. So normally I think there's something like $330. This one was 190 and then plus shipping, it ended up being 220 shipped. So, that's a really, really good deal on the bar. So I'm gonna set it up in the rack here just so it's a little bit easier to see and then we'll check it out, see if there's any blemishes since it is a boneyard bar and it's actually my first boneyard bar. But yeah, that's what we're gonna to do today and then in a couple, few days, couple weeks, something like that, I will post a full review of the Ohio deadlift bar and then we'll do a head to head with the Texas deadlift bar as well. All right, here it is. As you can see, it has the Boneyard end cap, as I believe all of the Boneyard bars have. It's all the same one. It would be kind of cool if they could designate Boneyard and then also what bar it is, but that's besides the point. I spent a little bit of time checking it out here. As you can expect, they have some wildly aggressive knurling on this guy. Again, I'll go over all that in a detailed comparison video. 
But I, like I said, I spent a little bit of time checking this thing out. And as far as I can tell, the only blemish that it has is on the sleeve down here. You might not even be able to see it on camera, but there's a little bit of some discoloration. I'm not really sure what that would be or what would cause that. And again, I didn't try to clean it up or anything like that. I just wiped off the cardboard shreds from the knurling just so it was nice and clean. But I don't know if this will clean up or not, but that's the only thing that I could really see with the bar that was wrong. So again, this is my first boneyard bar. So I don't know if this is like a typical experience for the bar to come in this good of condition or not. I have heard some stories of some bars coming in where people couldn't even tell what was wrong with the thing. Like they go over it with a fine tooth comb and they don't come up with anything wrong. And that seems to be kind of the case with this one. So very excited about that. Like I said, I will be doing a comparison video of this with the Texas deadlift bar that's right over there as well as a full comparison video or a full review rather of the bar by itself, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and whether or not I think it's a good bar for you. So subscribe so you don't miss those videos. And I'm gonna train some back and shoulders, but not deadlift because the meet was just this last Saturday and I've already deadlifted since then. So I am ready for a little bit of a rest from deadlifts.